a new name for our next Mars rover, a new space station resupply mission, and how you can join the Artemis generation. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. From a nationwide naming contest that saw more than 28,000 student essay entries, the new name for our next Mars rover is... Perseverance! The new name for the rover formerly known as Mars 2020 was announced during a live event on March 5th from the Fairfax County, Virginia School of the student who submitted the winning entry. If rovers are to be the qualities of us as a race, we missed the most important thing, perseverance. We are a species of explorers and we will meet many setbacks on the way to Mars. We, not as a nation, but as humans, will not give up. The human race will always persevere into the future. The rover recently arrived at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida, ahead of its launch to the Red Planet this summer. And lift off. On March 6th, a SpaceX Dragon spacecraft launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, packed with supplies and payloads for the crew aboard the International Space Station. The cargo delivery includes critical materials for science and research investigations on the station. We're now accepting applications for our next group of Artemis Generation astronaut candidates. But even if you can't be an astronaut, we can still use your support. We invite you to join the Artemis effort by printing your very own Artemis Generation certificate at go.nasa.gov slash join Artemis. It is our way of taking you with us on humanity's greatest journey to explore our universe. While making observations off the edge of asteroid Bennu, a student-built spectrometer on board our OSIRIS-REx spacecraft unexpectedly detected X-ray activity 30,000 light years in the distance. It turned out to be a newly flaring black hole that was discovered a week earlier by a telescope on the International Space Station. The glimpse of the X-ray event by OSIRIS-REx marks the first time such an outburst has been detected from interplanetary space. A team from our Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California was a first place winner in a recent challenge to use cutting edge technology to enable robots to autonomously navigate extreme underground environments. We could one day use robots with this technology to map out caves on the moon or Mars in preparation for the arrival of human explorers. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.